Hey guys, Metallic Joker here, welcome to an all new video where today we are playing Dev Guy. Now, I don't know anything about this game, but it seems like it should be pretty exciting because look at that screen. What is not exciting about that screen? I'll tell you what, well, everything. Well, let's click there to start then. I don't know anything that's gonna happen. Uh, I saw a little bit about the game. Yeah, I saw it look like, oh, hi. Uh, hello and welcome to the life of a dev guy. Okay, the man you see in front of you is Warren. He's the dev guy you'll be controlling. Thank you. All you need to do is help him upload his game onto the app store. Unfortunately, Warren's computer crapped out and lost his data. Luckily, Warren has a backup on a jump drive in his car. You just need to get him to it and upload the game. You control Warren's movement with arrow keys and use E to interact with objects. Uh, when Warren attains a new item, it will be assigned to the R key and will appear where the red arrow is. If you ever wish to quit this game at any time, just hit escape and blah blah blah. Good luck helping Warren get his data back. And okay, well, let's... Man, uh, you'd think devs have like, you know... I, I don't know. I don't even know. It's my bed. I sleep on it when I'm not putting, uh, pulling an all-nighter. I believe you. This is my desk. Not much to say. It passed it, about it, passed it being a desk. It's a TV. Doesn't work though. Why do I even have this thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, God, the door feels jammed. Pushing it does nothing. I'll have to go around. Around? What? Through a vent? Hmm. Avente, maybe if I can unscrew the sports, I can sneak to the other side. Um. Why can't you just not do that? Man. Oh, I thought that was a cigarette from afar. It's a screwdriver. It's a bookcase full of books on. Dist oh, shit. Uh, oh sweet, it's my trusty flathead. I can't leave the office without you're not you haven't left the office. I oh okay, I see what you're saying. Let me just uh oh oh wait, I was using it on the vent. That's right. Oh 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 shoot, I guess it was a pull door the whole time. Oh well it opened. It was a pull door the whole time. Man. Okay, where, where are we going? What are we doing? Ooh. Uh, all these books are blank. Maybe they're here just to make the place look busy. Hmm. Hmm. That. So. It's Ideo Baka's female body pillow girl, Natasha. Why am I even looking at this? Good question. I can't not look at it. It won't. Okay. I was like, I can't not look at it right now. It's not letting me. Boop, weep, boop, 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 weep, boop. The door is locked. My one weakness. I'll have to get in another way. His one weakness is locked doors. Hmm. I wish that was my weakness. How am I going to get in another way? All these beds look the same. This complex... Must not really value people who live in it. Oh, there's complex. Sometimes I can read. Most days I just try to get through the day. <sighs> I'm not even wearing my watch. There's fucking doors here. Hmm. And it led... Oh, oh, Drat, your car just got towed. You'll have to find a phone to call your towing agency or the towing agency. Guess I'm looking for a payphone. Uh, uh, Cabe's towing. This is Cabe. Cabe, it's Warren. One of your guys just towed my car. Oh, shoot, really? Yeah, really. All right, let's see if we have it. What kind of car is it? It's a black Buick Electra. Oh, shoot. What? What's wrong? I just got back from towing a black Buick Electra. Damn it, Cabe. What the fuck? 
What? Your license plate said tow me, so I just did what it asked. That's not an excuse for towing it! Hey, I suppose you're right. Sorry about that, man. Just bring it back. Alrighty, I'll be down in a bit. By a Jesus, was he like- did he even leave? It sounds like he was just already there. Wow, you showed up fast. Well, my place is just two blocks down. Well, there you go. That would have been convenient if you didn't tow my car in the first place. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I saw you left your car unlocked, so I locked it up for you. Oh, is that so? Yeah, man, I got your back on this stuff, bro. I appreciate your concern, but that means I gotta go back upstairs and get my car keys now. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. It's alright, I'll be back. God damn it! Why doesn't my complex have an elevator? Jesus. What? Oh shit, that sound came from outside. Better check it out. Now what happened? Gabe? Or Cabe? Why is my car window busted? Well, I felt bad about locking it, so I broke the window and unlocked it for you. What the fuck, Cabe? It's not even a real name. Hey, I made it up by opening the car for you. I just saved you a trip, bro. You broke my fucking- I hate you, Cabe. You're a fucking idiot. I don't like you. I am not a fan. Not a fan of you. I don't like you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter anymore. Now that it's unlocked, I can just finally get my jump drive out. I mean, this thing, why didn't you say so? I had it with me the whole time. Damn it, Cabe! What the fuck? Well, I figured no one would be using it after I towed the car, so I took it myself. I'm sorry. Just give me back my jump drive and we'll put this all behind us. Alright, well, be heading back now. Good luck with that. Sorry about your car again. <sighs> Let's just go upload this stupid game. <sighs> after a series of annoyances, you finally have your hard-earned backup on hand. And that is the life of a dev guy. Simple, a little rough in some parts, but genuinely... Wait a minute. This jump drive's empty. Fuck, K must have formatted the damn thing and lost the data, that numbnut. All right, no need to panic. You lost all your data and your publishing license expires tomorrow. Take that back. This is the prime time to panic. Panic like there's no fucking tomorrow. It's all over. You failed to help Warren get his game on the App Store and Billy the Creator doomed. Wait a minute. There are other developers in the building. You may have a chance yet. All you need to do is take the jump drive, head to the other apartments, do a little source hacking. So what? First of all, why are there other- why are there five other devs? Is that like the only job around here is game developer? But we're just- alright. This is a game made by Sam Shark. He makes good games, but he's just kind of a jerk about it. Supposedly, this is a masterpiece where you learn the trials of the human heart. Following could be a very strange and overrated game. Okay. Oh shit, we're actually playing it. Super Heart Rate Simulator! This is Stick. Stick is an ordinary human stick figure, heart and all. In this game, you are in charge of Stick's heart rhythm. The blue bar you see is Stick's heart rate, and the green bar beside it is his. Uh, I didn't. Shit. Uh, your job is to keep Stick's heart rate in the green zone by pressing the heart button. If Stick's heart rate is in the red zone, his tolerance will go down. If his tolerance reaches zero, Stick will have a heart attack. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to keep Stick alive while he's just standing. To test what you've learned, just press the heart button. Well done, you seem to know what you're doing. Let's begin. Level 1, shall we? Walking to work. Stick is peacefully walking to work. Suddenly, a cute girl approaches. Stick for directions. Success! Stick gave the cute girl proper directions and made his way to work without a heart attack. <laughs> You're really getting the hang of this. Stage 2 is 9 to 5. Wow! Stick was so bored, even his heart ran out of patience and decided to shut down on him. I think we're gonna have to try this again. Man. Mm. 
this is me at work. By that I mean I have a heartbeat. This was supposed to be a masterpiece. Suddenly, Styx boss shows up to examine his progress. Shit. Seriously? Not only do you give Stick a heart attack, but you freak out his boss, causing him to have a heart attack as well. Now you're accountable for two lives you've taken. Way to go, partner. Damn. I didn't mean to. I kind of feel bad now. I didn't, I didn't mean to kill him. I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to kill him. I, actually, I kind of did. You told me I was, uh, you told me I was gonna kill him. Oh God, his heart is beating so quickly. Uh, don't have a heart attack. Don't have a heart attack. Don't have a heart attack. This is important. 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 Don't die on me. Oh, phew, he's gone. Now back to the boredom of work. Success! Stick made it through work and his heart rate is still intact. Now it's time to go home for the night. Stage 3, sleep. Shh. Oh shit! Oh dear, seems Stick has died peacefully in his sleep. At least he'll never have to wake up for work again. I think we're gonna need to try this one more time. Shit. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna die so fast. Fuck. Mm, this one's so much fun. Shit, stick, don't die in your sleep again. Come on, stick, you got this. Don't die on me. I don't I'm not CPR certified. Come on, stick. Fucking sleep. Sleep like a baby stick. Oh, suddenly, Stick begins to have an erotic dream about the girl he met today. Okay, Stick. Okay. I get it. I get it. It happens to the best of us, man. But please, don't have a heart attack in your sleep. Oh, damn it, Stick. You let, uh, you let sh get your mind off that girl and wake up before you have a heart attack. God damn it, Stick. I don't want to, I don't want you to die on me. Success! Stick made it to the end of the night without dying from a heart attack. Yeah! And though it seems he ruined his pants from his wet dream last night. <laughs> oh well, he's still alive. Congratulations, you got Stick through his full day, all while keeping his heart rate intact. You're something else, man. The end. Well, that was definitely something. Alrighty, this is David... Beige's computer. He has supposedly made an art house masterpiece. If that is the case, you need to source hack it to add artistic appeal to your game. Let's just pray that it doesn't just attract too many hipster deadbeats to the game scene. Alright, enough talk. Let's source hack this bitch. Sorry, biatch. The return. You wake up with your head hurting, you can't remember who you are anymore. Almost like an explosive case of amnesia. You need to remember yourself and her as well. Left. It's locked. Right. Also locked. Left. Right. Oh. What the crap was that? There wasn't even a single puzzle through the whole thing. Good god, this whole game looks like a bust. Hacking this was a horrid waste of time.